Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and this is a new Let's Play. I saw some of my friends playing this, and they um, said that I should play it. Partic particularly, I think Patrick Static said that I should play this. Um, it's called Firewatch. Let's play it. Seems good. Apparently, it's pretty much everywhere at the moment, but I've not seen anything. I've had no spoilers. I've had none of that. So I literally have no idea. I don't even know if this is horror or just... I've heard been told it's like atmospheric first person, but let's start it. Choose a slot to begin. The one thing that kind of um, scares me is the fact that the mouse is not bound to the screen, apparently. So I can see my cursor, which could be really bad if I accidentally click on one of my other two monitors. Because then it will minimize the game. In cooperation with Panic Incorporated. Nobody. Panic. Panic. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. I was not born. Neither was my older sister. My older half sister was not born either. You see Julia. Cool. Is she gonna sing for us like in Final Fantasy VIII? That's an old reference. None of you probably know that. Oh, wait, am I supposed to click on something? Oh, okay. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad student from the nearby C from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are a drink with your pals. Why am I a girl named Henry? I know that I'm playing a dude, but I'm gonna pretend that I'm playing a chick. You approach her. You are drunk. You, you're pretty. So, so what's your, you know, major? You slur the word major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology. <laughs> oh no, I answer. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Because he was drunk. Worried to hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. But I'm a girl, so wouldn't that make us lesbians if she's my girlfriend? No. Because I'm playing a dude. Oh. I have legs and really weird looking arms. Seriously, my arms look really weird. I don't know why they look weird to me, but they do. But at least the cursor is now bound to the screen, so I don't have to worry about it. Are we going places? Am I going with my girlfriend hiking? Gonna go hiking with my girlfriend? You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with, with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about everywhere. That's not good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy under... over... Undersized beagle, Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Okay, I want the German Shepherd because I love German Shepherd. But she wants the beagle. So we're gonna get the beagle. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him, too. Aww. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. and the heat radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Uh... Kids are not very smart, or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple of little idiots. That would be pretty good. I, I want to have kids someday. I want to have kids, even though that's... Rather difficult for somebody in my situation, but still. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I'd like that. She she pretty much just proposed to him. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably best if their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Thoroughfare trailhead. No fireworks! No, I recommend it for experienced hikers. You're in their country. You're in the bear country now. Can I not run? 
Okay. I guess I can't run. Fire danger. Uh. I can't. Let me up! Let me... Do some- Oh wait, no, is that the way I came? And this is the way I gotta go, okay. Let's see here, is there... Uh, climb, use, move forward, strafe, strafe... Okay, yeah, there is no... Just double checking that there was no run function or anything I was missing. Game graphics look absolutely astronomical these days. 1980. It's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry about the minutes. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I wouldn't do either of these things. I would just be worried. I wouldn't get mad. I wouldn't ignore her. I would just get worried. You're like, oh, fuck yourself not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Aww. 1981. Julia likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model! Ha <laughs> ha! You look awesome. Aww. Bonk. Why do I get the feeling that Julia is all of the dead? Like, seriously. She is probably all of the dead. And if you put anything spoilery, anything at all in the chats, in the comments down below, I will straight up ban you from the channel, because I do not play around with that. What's this? Two Forks Lookout Tower. Eight more miles still. Okay. Space bar! Oh, now it's letting me hop over obstructions. Sun! Why does this arm look like something from the Half-Life engine? 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife! Bucket gets kicked. Oh. Beep. Beep. Buh. Fuck. D -d dog Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. She beat his goddamn face in. Um... Okay, yeah, I'm not a violent person anymore. At least not compared to what I was like as a kid. But... You attack one of my friends? I will fucking roid out. I'm tired of a baby to beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes up before the cops show up. Ju uh, Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Do the job agree if she commutes back in... I would move. I mean, I wouldn't absolutely not want to, depending on the situation, but agree if she commutes back and forth. But that's 2,000 miles! You ask her she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees she flies to Bol She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Julia sent home from Yale and Peel paid leave after having an episode. She lost his colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She doesn't remember she had happily loaned them to him two days prior. Yep, she's dead. She's found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink one and try to forget about it. No. We talked to, talk to somebody after this. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests... They're worried about Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. I knew it. Called it. She's 41. We both decided to keep it secret for now. I can't move. Oh, journal.
That man has a dick. And he closes it. <laughs> okay? Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Mm. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they're crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day and she gets worse. Okay! 1980. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. Do you decide to your full kid? I don't know what you trying to pick! You're determined to take care of her by yourself. I would need to know a lot about this home before I would do that, but right now I'll be taking care of myself. We're still hiking! This feels a little... This feels kind of like Dear Esther, because we haven't had much gameplay elements yet except for me picking things. Picking things. I don't know if my choices actually matter on that screen. I would assume they... Maybe a tiny bit, but not likely, but... DEER! It's a deer! So, a deer, a female deer, even though that's a stag, because he has the horns, but... Mm -mm. Shut up, um. It is impossibly hard. The worst it is, is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then, too. That's not good! You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do, you worry about her getting up and walking around, but you're gone. I wouldn't want her to hurt herself. You go to the same bar at the boring end, and over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off your you're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One day you're stopped in a I got a DUI! You blow- What?! I would never get into a car if I had even a single beer. I don't even really drink, either. I am a bit more of a social drinker. But... I do not drink! I mean, I might have a single cider, but okay. I mean, I know I know it's like the narrator or the, the 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 story, but still. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister in law sees them. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They tell you that Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Okay. I wonder what happened if I had her sent into the home anyway. Does she still end up going back to Australia? Enter the lookout tower. Okay. I still don't know how the whole hiking thing is supposed to match up with this story. This, the story that's going on, but I guess it'll probably come together somehow. Maybe I'm the dude and I'm going, I'm trying to like recover, I don't know, the good times or memories of my wife or something, or somehow. Turn on the power. Oh, here we go. This is a little bit more gameplay-esque. This place doesn't look like it's been touched in a long time. Wait, so I th oh, pinecone. Map table. Wood stove. Cook cookbook. National Forest Guidebook. A singular mind. Oh wait, power. 
balls. Where's the stove? Can I put it in the stove? No. Okay, I'm probably just not seeing whatever it is I'm supposed to be seeing. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Hello, Floor of the... Tower. Oh, what? Hi! Um... How do I reply? Oh, hold left shift to activate the radio. Um... Oh, I have to hold it. Oh, okay. I see. Um... That's not very intuitive, but I get it. It's Henry, right? Yeah. It's not I'm completely Delilah. intuitive. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? Huh? People take this job to get away from something. Oh, this is the so new job. Wrong? Okay. What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. Okay. It's like, can you just shut up, please? So take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Um, okay. You killed. I, I don't even know what this job is. Oh, am I just like watching for fires? You've killed three ex husbands? You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home gets it. You're rebelling against mom. Okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds your gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Can I sleep oh. now? I like him. I fuck immature men, but in my defense... <laughs> fuck immature men! Whoa! ...and energy and some fire in his belly in bed. Me. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see... I'm gonna probably end up with this chick, aren't I? Maybe... And I'm gonna cheat on my wife who's in Australia. ...like trees. Maybe it's... Excuse you! Good night. Good night! Welcome to the job. Th um, that- it said Henry said good night, welcome to the job? I think it meant Delilah. Day one! Cool. I'm writing things! Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so okay. call me when you're ready. You can see me?! You stalker! Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. So, I guess, like, my only job is to look for fires? Something like that. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? Percolator, stove, bleach? Suds. Sudsy suds. Now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. Cool. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yep. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Report map table. <laughs> this is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. W.B. Probably the Osborne dude. Fi what the fuck? What is it? What? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! It's what?! Language, lady. Honey! Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Um, what way's west? Are those fucking fireworks? What's west? Oh, wait, I'm just supposed to see, like, people starting fires and, like, and track them down and go, Hey, dude! I need you to confirm. Oh. Do you see them? Right. North. North. No. What? West? 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 West. Do I do I see them? Seriously, are you seeing this? I'm looking. Oh, I see him. I think I saw him over there. Henry. Just shut up. Shush. 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 I'm just That's figuring out the controls, lady. Uh, no, you need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Yep. Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the Thanks, Delilah. Is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. I can check. Can I write him a ticket? <laughs> Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well, <laughs> what? Keep going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the okay. supply box on the way. The code is one two Find three rope. four. Find rope. It's actually that for 
all of them. <laughs> One, two, three, four for all of them. Oh wow. Secure. Secure. Shut up. Sh secure. Shut up. <laughs> I like this. The, the, this game seemed very tongue in cheek. Also very sad because of the wife with dementia. But still. Okay, so we're going. Whoop. Press M to read map. Okay, find rope in something something box something something. Okay. I can't. Ah, uh, here's me. I need cash box three o six. So that is northeast of here. North. Oh dear, it's one of these games! This way! Yes? Kind of. North, north. It's a little bit more east than. Oh wait, no, west! Not north! Northwest, not northeast! God, Scarlet. I wish this game would let me run. It won't, but I wish it would. There's not much to talk about, cause I can't run, 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 clicking the buttons, clicking the buttons. Oh, okay. East. Now we just got, or west. Not, not east. We go west, go west, do 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 do, go west, do 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 do. Okay, I found it. I think. Yeah, I found it. Okay. Now I just gotta put that away. Open Z Subtitle Cash. And the number is one, two, three, four. Because somebody has no imagination. Um, take the rope. Deal with whoever is setting off the fireworks. Okay. Got a granola bar. Um, I can eat it! I'm gonna eat it! Nom nom! Nom nom. Okay, where am I going? No way, he's trying to bring the map out. The river. Gen Z Lake. Where am I going? I think I'm trying to find... What the? My mouse just died! <laughs> See, I am the most professional Let's Player, everyone. I, um, let my mouse die during a recording. Just like professionals do. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Oh! There is a toggle button. Okay. This view. Whoops. Vista is incredible. Which one? Uh, All of them? The hill from my tower. There's a canyon and then the rest of... Well, everything. You should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering cool. over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. Aw, thank you. Wait, is this just like a summer thing? Where am I going? Deal with whoever's setting up the fireworks. Okay, but the problem is... Oh. Oh. Wait, if I can see the fireworks... Are they coming from over here? No. Where are the fireworks coming from? I completely lost track of where the fireworks are coming from. Oh wait, she said that it was coming out of the west window. So I am going in the right direction, okay. So as long as I keep going west, we should be fine, because I was out of the west window that we saw the thingy bomb With the Wachimajajit. With the fireworks in the sky and stuff. Rope hook. Oh, I was literally right there. Okay, then. How do I... Oh, I have to lower the compass. I assume. Oh, I have to attach it at a certain point. 
And then I can go down! I'm gonna repel off of this. Okay then! This is a good idea. This is a great idea! <laughs> and then I fall and slice my arm open. Yep. You okay? You okay there, bruh? You okay there? You okay? Okay. Um... Ow! Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did ya? No. Uh, I'd probably be screaming and going, AMBULANCE! I was being careful! I'm my fault the rope that you told me to get and use the broke. Report Meadow. Hey, comes down here. Um, where am I looking? I'm the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyro pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Okay. Which would be. Um. Oh, so yeah, we're going to the little green thing, the the little green thing there. Okay, I can do that. Beer can. Uh, clean up. I cleaned up the beer can. Okay, so that's probably the fire that they're dealing with. Backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. <laughs> but that's funny. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. Even though there's a fire warning. They color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Nope. Not really. We're gonna set the forest on fire. <clears throat> so this is why I kept seeing the pictures of the bra in reference to this game. Okay then. Um. Um, honey. I found a bra. I, I found a bra. Remain professional. Remain professional. Okay, we're going to keep going in the next video, guys. My name is Miss Garth Hennager, and I've been playing some Firewatch. I'll see you all in the next one.